Okay guys, I'm Iris Aviation here, bringing you a completed build of the Great Wall Hobby's F-15E Strike Eagle. In short, it's literally Beta Tamiya, there are some great engineering ideas and with the details that are awesome, but there are some minor gaps formed and the decals are complete crap. Everyone was saying that the GWH decals were for sure some of the worst out there, especially for the F-15 series, and it gained a notoriously bad reputation among the community. So aftermarket it was. Except, I used the kit decals because I didn't believe they were too bad. And after cutting away as much film as possible, I applied them. And used some Tamiya Mark Fit and Mark Softener. And hoped for the best. It didn't go well, and I ended up applying some clear coats on top and sanding for the first time. Apart from the decals, the kit lacks any ordnance for this version. Well, almost no ordnance. You can only make the loadout for the average Lake Eneath weekday sortie. However, I was making an Iraq War F-15E, so I had to salvage some ordnance from other kits, and luckily they fitted well. Painting wise, I chose a new approach. I painted the aircraft silver with Mr. Color 8, then pre-shaded with black, then added clear colours, to spots where the grey seemed to appear much more red tinted, etc. After that, I sprayed Tamiya XF24 over and sealed with X22 clear. After the whole decal shenanigans, I moved on to weathering. This build was the first time I ever used OPR or oil paint rendering. Iraq War F-15Es had a ton of weathering, with fuel and oil leaks everywhere and tons of sand accumulating on the airframe. I started off by using lighter tones from the AV502 range, such as faded white and dust, for some of the lighter tones. I then gradually moved darker and darker using industrial earth, then finally sepia to do most of the notable brownish areas. I then used some dark grey oils for the dark streaks. To top it all off, I supplemented the aircraft with two reed oak pilots, which were amazingly detailed. I also printed and folded a map from a small bit of paper and put it on the front dash. If you want to make an F-15 in 1-48, this is probably your best bet. Just get aftermarket decals and you'll be fine. That's all for today, hope you enjoyed. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, do all that, make the algorithm happy. Check out my Instagram, that's where most of the stuff is. And I'll see you there.